All the headlines tomorrow are going to be about how he won't concede uh, if he doesn't feel like the election goes the way it ought to go. What I'm That's saying is that I will tell you at the time. I'll keep you in suspense. Uh, the presidential nominees traded barbs on a variety of topics at the final presidential debate, including abortion, the Supreme Court, and even whether they would accept the results of the election. Uh, for voters who wanted substance last night, they got it with a healthy dose of zingers and even a few surprises. Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton going head-to-head -head in Las Vegas. One last effort for votes from the debate stage. And with just three weeks left until Election Day, both candidates going full throttle. Fox's Lauren Blanchard has the latest from the campaign trail. It's the day after the final face-off between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. The Republican nominee causing a stir after saying he wasn't sure if he'd accept the outcome of the election. Trump back on the stump today in Ohio. And I will totally accept the results of this great and historic presidential election if I win. Trump saying he reserves the right to contest a questionable election result, adding, is I will follow and abide by all of the rules and traditions of all of the many candidates who have come before me, always. Democratic vice presidential nominee Tim Kaine quick to jump on Trump's comments. You will not defend American democracy, but you're trying to defend Vladimir Putin on the stage and you want to be president of the United States? This thing is surreal, folks. WikiLeaks releasing yet another round of Clinton campaign chair John Podesta's emails this morning. And a tenth woman coming forward today alleging Trump inappropriately touched her in 1998 at a tennis tournament. The Trump campaign calling it a publicity seeking attack. I am here today to add my voice to that of the other Trump accusers. As the nominees and surrogates fan across the country to rally voters today, tonight Trump and Clinton are back in the same room for the Al Smith dinner in New York, a charity event historically about political civility and jokes. In Washington, Lauren Blanchard, Fox News.